So my name's Jennifer Bell and I'm the author of the Uncommoners series. The first one in the series is called The Crooked Sixpence and that was published in 2016 and the second one, The Smoking Hourglass, is going to be published in 2017 um, and there'll be a third one in the series in 2018 as well. What inspires me uh, is everything, just the world around me. Sometimes someone can pass me in the street and um, they'll give me an idea for a new character or I'll see a sh an object in a window and I'll think about what it might do if it's uncommon, um, which is all part of my story. In my story there's lots of uncommon objects, which are objects that do extraordinary things. So I take inspiration kind of from everything around me really. I also get loads of inspiration from history. I read a lot of history books and stories from the past and they inspire me a lot and help me when I'm world building in my book. Hi, I'm Dave Rudden, author of Knights of the Borrowed Dark and its upcoming sequel, The Forever Court. Pratchett was a huge inspiration for me because he manages to oscillate between some of the wisest, most beautiful thoughts on everything to the scariest, most horrific kind of monsters to just being really, really funny. Like he's pretty much the most casual genius I've ever read in my life. My top tip for writing about a world or creating a new world is to model it on the current world that we live in. So if you're creating a new world, it needs to have a set of rules just like our world does. You might want to think about how people in that new world travel, how they communicate, um, who's in charge in that new world, who the leaders are, how do people make their money, what do they do for a living, what kind of houses do they live in, what kind of food do they eat, what kind of drinks do they drink, um, all those kind of things. Um, so you can model them on the real world and then that'll make sure that you've got um, a really full, believable new world that you've come up with. My top tip for creating a world of your own is treat it like a house. I swear, this makes sense. Find some big concept that can act as the frame and then interrogate that concept. Look for detail deeper and deeper, like the rooms of the house, until finally you're polishing the mirrors and laying out a welcome mat. In my imaginary world, I would probably have a cookbook that you could just touch the page and the food will come to life. Because when I was working in a bookshop, I always used to be shelving all the cookbooks and I always used to wish that all the amazing pictures of the food um, could just be there straight in front of me without me having to go to any of the effort of cooking them. So I definitely have like a magical cookbook store maybe where you could just go in and buy a cookbook and then have all the food there just as soon as you touched the page. I'd like to apologise before I do this to the uh, great and wonderful nation of Scotland, but I've been asked to do my best Scottish accent. <sighs> I'm from Scotland! <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs>